Hey everybody, welcome to group break number 423. Today we are doing the half case of SP game use. We just rolled for it and uh, one box was picked from chat. Well, two boxes were picked from chat, but mainly because one of them just had a sticker while the rest of the boxes have their serial numbers and stuff printed on them. So uh, who knows, maybe that'll be a lucky box. But anyways, uh, three times on the names, three times on the teams, who you line up with is who you get. And just as a caveat for the break again, it is a 31 spot break because Chicago is a free team that will be random at the end and alongside any other Connor Bedard cards that we get will be randomed off separately. Um, if we do end up getting, I don't think our, there are any Bedard, uh, you know, where he's listed with another player on the checklist, but in case there's some sort of Easter egg or something, um, if say there's like a Bedard Fantilli card, that would just be a random between Chicago and Columbus. So yeah, anyways, uh, three times on the names, three times on the teams, who you line up with is who you get. Good luck, everybody. And apologies for my slightly nasally voice today. Um, it is, uh, been battling a bit of a cold over the past few days. So, uh, also the group breaks from last week got sent out just on Thursday, rather Thursday, Friday, rather than typically Wednesday, just cause I needed the extra day to make sure that I was, you know, healthy. Uh, here we go. Three times, once, twice. Third time. All right, Karen on top. Martin on the bottom. And teams three times. So once, twice, third time. LA on top, Islanders on the bottom. Yeah, I've seen kind of a couple different break formats for this where, you know, you can buy Chicago by the box type of thing or Chicago gets randomed every box. But I feel like randoming Chicago every box is just the, essentially the same thing as just doing what we're doing. It's just a little bit less complicated. So that is why we're doing this exact method. All right, here we go. Karen with the Kings, Kenneth with the Bruins, Kale with the Canucks and Blues, Erwin, Erwin with the Penguins. Sean with the Oilers, Maruzio with the Carolina Hurricanes, Justin with the Stars, Kenneth with the Leafs. Uh, Wahid with the Flames, Edward with the Devils, GT, you got the Predators, Jean-Francois with the Ducks, Damien with the Sharks, Kevin with Columbus, Mark with the Florida Panthers, Laurent with the Philadelphia Flyers, Nicholas with the Red Wings, Jean-Francois with the Avs, Michael with the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, Doug with the Knights, Jason with the Kraken and the Wild, Tony with the Washington Capitals, Chris with the Jets, Jean-Francois with the... Um, Ottawa Senators, Trevor with the Arizona Coyotes, Leonard with the Montreal Canadiens, Martin with the New York Rangers, John with the Sabres, and Martin with the Islanders. There are your teams. Uh, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. I'll get them over into the team viewer here. One second. I think that was all. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, there will be the breaks next week for the show next week are going to be one of them is going to be on the pricier side. I mean, all three are going to be like higher mid to high end breaks, um, just given the nature of the products went for uh, some kind of fun breaks. And like, I know a lot of people have been asking about um, getting some higher end product mixers. So one of them is that spoiler alert is going to be a little bit on the expensive side, but there's going to be two tins of the cup, some premier, some stature, uh, an old box of SP authentic from 2020, 2021, bunch of other cool stuff. So, uh, I am very much looking forward to that break. That break's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Team viewer. Yes. Yes. Should be correct. Let me double check. Uh, Jason, Seattle, Minnesota, Karen with the Kings, Kenneth is the Bruins. All right, looks good. Let's go to team view. Make sure we put on the right one. That looks correct. All right, here we go. So box one, we'll start with the one that is, again, the rest of them all have their, uh, stuff on a like printed on, you'll see the barcodes printed on, but this one has a sticker. So maybe it's a good sign, you know, you never know. 
yeah, like I mentioned at the start of this break, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video already, but if you missed our uh, first look at the product, which came out yesterday, it was rather insane. Probably the best six boxes of SP game used, like that you could, the most consistently good six boxes that I've ever seen opened. Um, it is, as always, a high variance product where you're gonna get a lot of not great boxes and you're gonna get some absolutely incredible boxes. So, all right, here we go. This is the box that has the sticker. Luckily the serial number is the same, so. I wonder why, I guess it just maybe missed it in the, in the printing process. All right, it is definitely a thin pack. So, got six cards in there. They're all thins. We're just gonna go front to back here. As we get the camera to focus here, come on. Focus. There we go. Dadanov for the stars to 107 on the gold. Uh, banner year, Logan Cooley for the Arizona Coyotes. A little bit of a soft corner there. Uh, Logan Cooley on the retro rookie to 499 for the Coyotes. A little bit of a Logan Cooley box to start off. Well, not the Chicago autograph you want to see, but Cole Gutman for Chicago. So that'll be a random. That'll be a random after. Luke Evangelista on the rookie jersey for the Predators. And for the Predators, Roman Yossi on the All-Star Fabrics. So that is an average box of SP game use. That is what I am used to seeing from this product. <laughs> um, you know what, honestly, I don't even know why I'm instantly sleeping and top loading the gut. Oh, cause it's a Chicago random, right? Uh, Chicago stuff will go into the same pile. And then uh, again, it all get randoms off to one spot at the end of the break. So I don't know, it feels like the best way to do Chicago and the product in general, just given how much of the product's value is in a single team. Um, I really, I like the format, especially when it's like a single product like this. Um, it just makes sense. Kind of spreads, if we do get two Bedards, you know it spreads that wealth a little bit. Yeah, it takes away from your high end upside, but it adds to the low. But yeah, here's what the normal serial numbers look like, by the way. So. I'm now curious. This is really thick. So we probably have a net cord or a uh, draft day marks would be my guess. Maybe glass, could also be glass. All right, well, we're gonna save the chonky card to the end. So just cause they're normally cool. I just need to give the hands a good wipe. There we go. All right, Malkin on the jersey card for the Penguins. Malkin on the jersey for the Penguins. Deep cuts to 35 of Van Beesbrook for the Rangers. Van Beesbrook, 235 for the Rangers. Uh, Nico Hishier on the draft banner year of the 2017 NHL entry draft. And then Carter Hart to 225 for the Flyers on the base. Gold base of Trevor Zegras to, uh, by the way, the Hart's got a little bit of a bad corner on it. Um, Trevor Zegras to 119 on the gold base. And, well, it's a net cord from the Stanley Cup final. So pretty cool card for the Florida Panthers, Anton Lundell. Not the net cord you're looking for, but like, hey, Getting a net cord from the Stanley Cup Finals is a pretty cool card. Um, I need to see if we have one touches for that because I think they are 130.1 touches. Let's see, do we have one? They're either 260 or uh, 130, but they definitely do not fit in 180 points. So there's a 360 
And there's a 260. I think they're probably, if I'd have to guess, they're in the, uh, no, they're 260. Okay, cool. Uh, but there we go. So the only time we will ship a card in a one touch is when it is a card too thick for a sleeve or top loader, unless it came in a one touch from the manufacturer. But at 25, there's a little scratch on the foiling, but I mean, it's a thick card. So these are really cool. I like them. Yeah, that's definitely worthy of a stand. Again, it's a card that like it's it's a piece of memorabilia that was used in the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, they may not be have the highest resale value, but like from a card collecting standpoint, just like a memorabilia collecting standpoint, they're pretty sick. It's just like it's just one of those cards that's pretty sick. Um the like it's like the glass cards, those are also really cool. Except those are I mean those are really thick. <laughs> I think those are those might be 360 point, but All right, this is uh, box number 68. Yeah, so that is one thing I do like about SP Game Use is that you do get, I used to not be, I mean, I'm still not exactly the biggest fan of the Banner Year Relics because, um, you know, they're just, they seem kind of plain. But the other thing from it is that like, yeah, it was a piece of memorabilia that was unique that was used at a very key event. So they're also kind of cool in that regard. Ooh, patch. Probably. Uh, we'll go two from the back again because patches are normally a good sign in this product. All right. Grubauer for the Kraken. A little bit of a corner issue on that guy on the jersey. Dustin Wolf on the rookie sweaters for the Flames. Lots of different teams so far, too, which is what I like to see. Uh, Global Series Fabrics of Mario Ferraro. I believe these will say focus, focus. There we go. I believe these will say um, event used memorabilia in as being used at the global series. So yeah. Uh, Seth Jarvis for the Hurricanes to 232. Uh, Ridley Gregg to 499. And so, oh, oh, this could be huge. Oh, yeah. Supreme patches for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Austin Matthews to 15. Let's go. Who had the Leafs? Kenneth. That's a sick card. And one of the key products you're looking for, or key cards in the product that you're looking for. So, hey, two boxes in, two pretty cool, or three boxes in, two pretty cool cards. Well, uh, we'll take that. That's again, one of the best names that you can get on that set too. So that's the thing with SP game use is that like you get some boxes, like the first box that are just, eh, like not cool, but then you open up stuff like that and the net cord and you're just like, yeah, I can see why this product is, can be cool. So, uh, it's a weird one. It's one that I really like the contents of it, but it's so risky. And I mean, this year it helps that you've got like just the base Bedard inserts too. That'll actually help the value of the product a little bit because they'll still sell well for the first few weeks. Yeah, I love the Supreme Patches sets. So this pack is, I think, more normal. So probably we're looking at uh, jerseys instead of like an auto instead of a premium card in that slot. Autos could still be good, but you know, just not the not the same. So we'll go front to back. All right, Kopanen to one sixteen. Well, one Bedard for the random banner year relic of Connor Bedard. So that goes into directly into the random with a authentic rookies auto of Owen Beck. That is not bad for the Habs. Owen Beck on the Authentic Rookie Autos for the Habs. Uh, Yuri Patera for Vegas on the Authentic Rookies Auto. 
Tyler Clevin on the jersey for the Senators and Evgeny Kuznetsov on the Stadium Series jersey for the Washington Capitals. Hey, got a plain Bedard napkin cloth, <laughs> but it's a Bedard. Yeah, that was a good box. The back auto is really solid. Um, honestly, I probably should sleeve and topple that one instantly. It's got a little bit, like some of the cards do have a little bit, even the Bedard has a little bit of a white edge on the corners. Again, it can happen in products that are just, you know, non-white stock to the edge because they tend to show edge wear. But yeah, the back's a really solid pull too. So, all right. Well, four boxes through we got, I mean, hey, a Bedard, a net cord, and a math, like a really nice patch. I'll take that. A good rookie auto. I will take that every day of the week from four boxes. Honestly, from nine boxes, that's still really solid too, so. All right, 992 on the box numbers. Ooh, we got, I think we got a true rookie in here. Let's, let's skip to that last because those can be pretty pretty valuable if they're the right player. So, all right, Levy Mira Linen on the rookie jersey auto to 149 for the Senators. It's another uh, different team getting on the board there. Uh, Kopanen, I think at least. Uh, Kopanen for the Bruins on the authentic rookie's jersey. And if you are shuttered in this break, you will get something. Still, whether it is a pack, I think it'll end up being a pack. I just don't know what one. Uh, probably overtime, but Boone Jenner for the Blue Jackets on the Fabrics. Uh, authentic Rookies of Damien Giroux for the Wild with a All-Star Skills Fabrics of Jack Hughes for the Devils. And it is a true rookie, I think, to 45. Gruden for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So... Uh, if you're new to SP Game Use, these cards are numbered to their jersey number. Those are the true rookies. Everything else you see is the parallel. And then the last card in the set. So, for example, for Gruden, it'd be 45 of 45. For uh, Bedard, it'd be 98 of 98. Those will be, generally speaking, those will be autographed if the player is signing. Um, those are essentially one of ones and very valuable. So, uh, the less rookies still hold a little bit of value, but... Um, Really cool cards to collect. I love the idea of them. I know Titanium did them back in the day with Panini, and I forget who did them before, but I think it was Pacific before. I think maybe in Titanium, but I love the concept of the like true rookies number to the jersey number. It gets a little bit frustrating when it's the uh when the jersey's number is really low. So like you know, if it's a goalie with the number one on the jersey, it's uh they're true rookies of one on one. But I think it's a pretty cool concept, and I like that they're using that in SP Game Use. So, all right, next box. Doesn't want to come out here. There we go. Seems like normal thickness, so probably autographed or jerseys. Yeah, I imagine the Bedard Auto 98 is going to sell pretty well. I just don't know how well it'll sell. We're upside down here. I honestly, I don't know what way to go on this one, but Legends of Rick Nash. This has some chipping on it on the top, just as a heads up. Uh, to 239. David Pashnak on the All-Star to 114 for the Bruins. Well, Toronto, have yourself a break. Austin Matthews, Jersey Auto to 15. What the heck? Kenneth, you're cleaning up. You are cleaning up. Man, what is with our SP Game Use boxes? They are just loaded.
What the heck? Uh, I mean... What's cooler for the hit of the break, really? <laughs> uh, Flurry on the jersey for the Wild. Cole Gutman goes into the Chicago Random. And a Darcy Kemper for the Capitals on the Stadium Series fabrics. That's all that there is. That's all that there is. So... Chicago's got two Colt Gutman cards coming to it. That little end random is pretty spicy. You get two cards at least. Like, not the highest value, but like, hey, you get stuff. Um, all right, next box. Yeah, again, this is probably an above average SP game use box opening. But it is there. Some of the boxes have shown the highs and lows of the product, so. <laughs> Just the highs are, the highs are pretty high. But it does seem, does seem, at least from the boxes that I've opened to be a little bit better this year. But then again, last year's actually, I went through a case of it and it wasn't actually um bad. So there's this box number. Ah, I missed the bin. Ah, uh, we got a patch. We have a patch, and you know our rules with patches. Is that a patch and a true rookie? I think it's a patch and a true rookie. Oh, it's a true base. Okay. A little bit less impressive, but still cool. All right. Uh, Jake Sanderson to 85 on the true base for the Senators. That's a pretty cool card. Walker Dewar on the rookie auto for the Flames. Uh, deep cuts of Zuccarello to 250 for the Wild. I think that was just, yeah, that was just the one card. Uh, goes there. Sebastian Ajo on the Stadium Series Relics. He had a bit of like stitching or I guess it could just be like a dark stripe in their jerseys on that. Authentic Rookies to 118 of Michael Kesselring and Michelle Goulet on the Hall of Fame Marks to 35. Uh, this is just, yeah, not autoed, just a manufactured patch. Goulet on the Hall of Fame marks for Chicago. That's another one in the Chicago random. So that's uh, looking pretty spicy. You get three cards if you hit the Chicago random. Sanderson's nice. It's just, it's a high numbered one. So, and it's a veteran. So it's not the biggest deal, but still a cool card. That was honestly like not the best box, but it also is kind of nice for people in the break because, hey, it adds another card that if you hit Chicago, like your break goes from being eh or like depending. I mean, if you had the Leafs and you hit Chicago, then just go buy a lottery ticket already. But I think we've had a pretty good spread of teams. I know Arizona's got some stuff, which is nice to see. Um, Columbus is kind of. Got the Boone Jenner. I don't think I've seen any Canucks. Which is, they tend to be a decent team in this. <laughs> yeah, Sanderson's pretty, pretty popular. I guess it's weird. He's like, he doesn't sell well, but he's going to be popular because he's good. Type of thing. All right. This is another thick, thick pack. So probably another patching coming. Yep, and it's in a good slot. Oh, it's blue. So you know that's probably a draft day, Marks. So let's go. And, oh, that's deja vu. That's kind of weird. All right. Mark Stone for Vegas. Clayton Keller on the All-Star Skills. Man, this is six watches on that for the Yotes. Really cool looking. I Again, the one thing I wish is that they use the like shirts that they wore in the skills competition. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, Winter Classic of Charlie McAvoy on the banner. I think, yeah, the corner seems fine. Uh, Mark Stone, again, to 231 for Vegas. Come on, focus. Uh, Matthew Scoronato to 499 on the rookie debut. And... 
Yaroslav Askarov on the draft day marks for the Predators to 35. Let's go, Predators. GT. Hot off of that OV from last week. Get a nice little Askarov draft day marks. Let's go. I mean, what can you say? Pretty good half case here. All right, final box. Uh, yeah, really strong half case. I honestly, like, not much more can be said. We hit one of the best draft day marks that you could get. Um, and given that they're not really short printed, it just kind of comes down to, well, they're short printed by how long the player's last name is. But, um, you know, like hitting an Askarov versus hitting a um, Bedard, like you're actually, I guess you're technically more likely to hit Askarov because there's more letters in his name. But, um, you know, it's kind of random what 35 you get. So. All right. Final box. This is a thin pack. Probably back to normal. But when I last time I said that, we got a uh, sick Matthews. So I think we'll end in that third slot again. That third slot seems to be the best slot. So we'll just jump to the, we'll jump to there. Cause I don't know. That slot seems to be the best slot. So let's roll with it. We got an Akito Hirose for the Canucks. Ooh, his autograph's nice. That's a cool autograph. For the Canucks, so 149. Uh, Jonathan Marcheseau. Ooh, that goes up here, sorry. To uh, no numbering on the base jersey. Jared McCann. Oh, that's cool. On the expansion draft uh, banner relic. That's cool. I like that. It's actually like a... You can tell it's actually more of like a street banner too because it's not the fabric material. It's a, like a kind of meshy material, plasticky. That's cool. Uh, Tavares? I think we got... Are you kidding me? That's probably just going to be generic card, but to 231 Tavares and... Well, oh no, there's one more card after this. I thought this was going to be like the big hit, but nope. Uh, Matthew's on, I mean, still Matthew's on the banner year for his draft, which is just nuts for Toronto and Ridley Gregg to 25 for the Senators. So, I mean, Toronto had themselves a break. Uh, I mean, Nashville, you did well. Montreal, you did fine. Uh, Florida, you got a net cord. Whoever wins Chicago, you're going to be thrilled. Whoever gets the Bedard, you're going to be happy. So I, yeah, I think a lot of teams did pretty actually okay. Um, I know there's, I guarantee in saying that there's going to be some that are shut out, but um, I think those are all the, so we got three cards for Chicago and then the one Bedard. So we'll do the two spot random here. Go ahead and list them. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks and Bedard banner year. So let's do that three times. Uh, let me get random.org up. And same procedure we've been doing. Here we go. So we go in here, we take the Chicago Blackhawks and the Bedard Banner year, copy them, paste them into place, go three times, once, twice, third time. So that's the order. It stayed Banner year Chicago throughout all of them. Go back to this sheet. Some somewhere is like over here or so. Let me go take the list of teams, copy them, go back to here, paste them in, do it three times, top two teams, good luck. Once, twice, third time, Colorado and Philadelphia. Honestly, I think two teams that didn't do super well in the break. So Colorado gets the uh, banner year and the Flyers get the Chicago Blackhawks. So that is the way the break ends. Um, pretty solid overall. Um, highlights, I mean, we'll start off with like the Matthews banner year, just cause that's pretty cool from 2016. Um, yep, I don't know if they're more short print, but um, other cool stuff that we got. Uh, SP game used to 25, the rookie debut retro. Sanderson true base to 85, Gruden true rookie to 45. Uh, I mean, 
Got to show off the Hall of Fame marks of Michelle Goulet to 35, because that's cool. That went to the Philadelphia Flyers, because it was a Chicago Blackhawks card. Um, Owen Beck, base auto, also pretty cool. But yeah, hits of the break. I mean, I'm putting the Bedard in the fifth slot just because it's a banner year relic. It's one of the like lowest value cards that you could get of his in this product, I think, in my opinion, at least. And like, it's not a special part of the banner. It's just the blue part. Um, I have a real tough time choosing the next card. I'm going to go with the draft day marks of Askarov. This definitely has a higher value than the net cord. The net cord is just cooler to me from a like history standpoint. So Askarov on the draft day marks in the fifth slot. Uh, net cord. You know what? We'll go. Yeah, it's, it's the net cord. It's the net cord in the third slot. That, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, take your pick. Do you like the Matthews jersey autograph or do you like the Matthews patch? I'll link patch on this one for the top hit of the break, but like you can't argue with the ink either. So uh, what a nine box break of SP game use. That is group break 423. Up next is 424.